Okay, so before we start everything, um, I have already pre-quilted some covers. Um, and I've got a couple to quilt. I just thought I'd show you my pattern. It's just, I've done it on a big piece of paper. Um, if you go to the pattern that I've linked below, it shows you how to make your pattern piece um, for any book that you choose because I use a different book than what they use in the pattern. I use a big one for this because this is for kids' presents. It's a big one and it's got like little dividers in it. It's a Spyrex. I wanted something that was easily replaceable so they could just go to the local department store once this is used up and they can go get themselves another one. Um, I think if I was making it for grown-ups, you know, I actually would think that this is pretty cool because I was actually thinking I like it because it's got like little um, inserts in here um, for the subjects. But um, yeah, this is just a, a Spyrex one from um, Big W. So I'm not sure if you have a Big W where you guys are. So that's the book I use. So then I've cut out the pattern piece according to the um, the pattern. Um, they say, because like I was saying, they teach you how to do it to your size. Um, and I've put the fold in it so I know it makes it easier when cutting it out. So what I do is I'm when I'm making it, I make a whole pile of them at once. So I cut out the fabric the pretty fabric and then I cut out the, the batting a little bit bigger um, just so you've got something to grip when you're, you're moving it around. Um, I've been using, um, I don't know if you can see this, the dots, I've been using um, the adhesive batting because that's what I had in my stash. Um, and then for the interior I've got some just some general fabric and one piece, this piece here it's, it's going to be for this inner piece that if you see the pattern you'll see what I mean but you don't see that piece at all so it doesn't need to match um so this is what I've got so far so I've got these two to go because these are the ones that I wasn't sure how to quilt um these are the ones that I've quilted so far so this is just I took um off my not the foot off the sewing machine and I put on um an open toe um uh, yeah, embroidery foot or a free motion quilt, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm, I was just doing some like stippling or I was just playing, I think I was trying to do swirl so you can see it on this side. Um, this is my first go at it. Um, I actually kind of like how it's all bubbly. So um, this is for kids and kids love texture, right? So can you see the, the texture in that? I think that's really good. I think it matches the, um, the fabric really well. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to use for these two. Um, so I don't think, so this is what I was doing, so I don't think this is going to work on those ones. Um, this is so cool. These are, I've got two of these because I need some stuff for boys. Um, and I've just stitched in the dark sections. So if you can see, it's kind of got some, the animal heads are slightly puffed. So I thought when you've got them in a book, you've got just a bit of slight texture there. And if you can see it here, you can probably see it more on the back. Actually, it looks really cool on the back. That looks really cool. Um, so I've got two of those. I don't think that's going to work with this because there is some, there's, there's not enough big things in here, if you know what I mean. If I did all this orange, I, I don't think that would look okay. All right, so then I've got this one. And I was just doing the spots, the dots, the circles. Um, and I went a little crazy with them because I just wanted the texture. This is one's for kids, so this could be for boys or girls, this one. And I love how it's sort of like, um, you know, like a Chesterfield lounge, you've got the dot, the dot, and the race up section. I like that on this. So that's what it looks like on this side. So I was thinking maybe I could do the spots on here, but then what was I going to do around the cats? So that one, no, put this over here. I got this one. Um, so I've I don't have these with me because I have um, I've already given these out as gifts. I've already made two of these and they've already been gone to birthday parties where I was just trying to do semi straight lines. So I was trying to do straight lines with a little bit of um, motion in them, and then I was just going around and it's almost like a wood panel pattern. If you can see, really wonky. A little bit crazy um so i was thinking that but then i like it doesn't really get i'm not going to work with these and i've got that idea so this is the ones that i've already passed on this is the bit i cut off because i cut i made them too wide um 
and I've just done straight lines straight line straight line straight line straight line straight line so I was thinking of doing that but I once again I don't think it's gonna work with these and then um, I was trying with this one this is the so this was a one that's gone to um, a grade 7 and this is the one that went to a grade 3 kid and if you can see the color the lines but yeah I don't I don't think that I turned it into a bookmark with scrap so then I went just um, grid panel uh, I was thinking of doing it diagonally and then I'm like no nah, let's just do it so it gets done so I'm actually using a slightly variegated thread really pale but it's sort of like really pale pink pale yellow pale green and I'm thinking I think that will work as it's, it doesn't take away from the design but it still looks good you mentioned that when it's finished it's folded like this I think it's going to look nice this one and this one because if you fold it in half you've got a cat here at the bottom but what are you going to do up here so if you've got this texture up here it's going to look pretty good same with this one like if you fold it in half that's haha i was thinking of just doing the stitch in the ditch again like um like this one but you've got the 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 antennas um I, I think you'll kind of lose that so if i was just thinking of doing the the grid as well but anyway that's where i am with those so i think i'm just going to grid these up um and then because once you've got this part once you've got this it goes really quickly because what you've then got is you've got your internal piece which doesn't need sewing and then you've got these two pieces and now because i was ironing it i actually folded them in um so um they're ready to stitch and i've got to switch out the um the thread and i found i happened to find some thread almost matching um so these once see these are stitched so once i was going to quilt everything with the one color and then i was going to switch the thread and then i was going to go through and i was going to stitch all these edges on every single one that i've cut out and then basically after that you just so you, well, you haven't cut the elastics out but you add the elastic to this side and then you cut you do you set that to there you clip this one to this side and you sew around it and you're done there's very actual little sewing done to these so it's, they're actually really quick but they look awesome when they're finished so i'm gonna put this aside and i quilt these two and then we'll move on to the next step and one thing i've learned from doing these is that you don't start on the good side you start on the back and then you relax and your lines start to get straighter so when your time you've come around to do the front piece you're a pro at it I don't measure the lines the width. If you're wondering what that clunky clunk noise is, it's the I'll show you. It's this on the walking foot. Every time you go up and down, it's wax this, so it's really noisy. If you put your hand on it, like you can make it quieter. Who wants to do that? I think this is looking cute, the grid. I've got big, you can see, I've got big wide grids, narrow ones, and it looks kind of cute on the cat, I think. I'd be happy to get this in here. It looks nice. So I'm sewing here, and I have a supervisor. Say hi to Millie. Hi Millie, what you doing? She's our puppy. She's a very tall puppy. She's a point across. She's really hard to see because she's black. Hey, Millie. 
And that is Millie. Bye, Millie. <laughs> Okay, so I've now quilted up all my panels. I have to trim them to shape, but I also needed to change the, um, my bobbin ran out. So while I was changing my bobbin, I went ahead and chain stitched all the pieces. Um, these are the pieces that go inside. I changed, chain pieced all these together so I can trim these, I can trim the panels and we can move on to the next step. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut these to shape. You can, of course, get out your cutting mat and your rotary cutter and cut them to shape, but I'm using your pattern, but um, it's just a rectangle. They haven't warped in, um, you know, shape of too much, and if they have, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to trim these up. Like, it's, like I was saying, it doesn't have to be, it's not paper piecing or anything like that. It just has to be a rectangle-ish. This is so easy, this project. All right, so this is the cat one that I quilted. I wasn't quite sure how to quilt it because I didn't want to lose the, you know, the pat pull of the design too much. So I just did a, a um, sort of an off-center grid. I think it turned out pretty well. So this is going to be the front. This is the back with the two kitty cats on it and this is my other one I like this one I love the texture on this one I just did the circles so it kind of gives a raised up texture but yeah all right so next on to the next step we need to match up elastics and um, start putting things together to sew the final step now I'm auditioning elastics for the tab um, I think this one's too wide so I'll put this one back Okay, so there's this one. So I'm thinking of putting it like about there with on the cat. So maybe something really punchy. It kind of looks cute because it's got little gold on it. Or something to blend in. Oh, it kind of blends in. Do we want it to blend in or do we want it to stand out? I don't know. I have also a glittery red oh actually that one looks okay glittering red i don't think the black i think the black's too hmm gosh i can't decide well okay so i don't think this one no all right and i don't think the blend one that blends so do we want that one? So it's got like sparkles on it. Or that one. I'm going to say this one. All right, so I, I know the measurements is about that. So that's that one done. And then we put it from, we go over here. Put it there and find my pins. And a hair tie. Let's put him about here, I think. All right. I'm just going to audition this one on this side because then we bring it over. It's going to miss. Where's the half? It's here. Okay, it's going to miss the cat. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so do we want bright green or sort of a sage green? Well, that's kind of, that's kind of matchy. Oh, threads, that's kind of matchy-matchy with that. And this is kind of standout-y. Hmm, okay, we'll go matchy-matchy. Okay, so we go matchy-matchy. Does it go this way or does it go this way? Okay, so... We're going to be now putting it all together. So first off, we have the elastic. And then the, the back. Now we put the fronts on first, that's it. I took them off something else, so they're a bit, it's got threads on them. Okay, so then we do the slip pockets. Yeah. 
And for some reason, I've already rounded the corners. I don't know why. And then we put the back on. This is the interior bit that you don't see. This is the bit that the book sits on. And then I just pin them in place. So I pin the tabs there. Oh, I just stepped myself. Stab. There's one here. You don't need that many pins, but you know, you use what you're comfortable doing. One for the elastic. One for that corner so it stays down. Over to here. Where's the corner? There. And the corner's down here. Alright. Now I still have the walking foot on the sewing machine from when I was quilting. It doesn't matter if you have it on or not, whatever you're more comfortable with. I sew from this side. I find it a lot easier because I know that this piece is being cut to shape. And I sew with the foot down and just go around try to keep and maintain an even stitch all the way around. curved edge there. Oh, did I say needle down? I can't remember if I said that or not. This truly is a really easy project. You've only got your quilted panel. It doesn't have to be quilted. I was thinking it would actually work really well if the front cover was a cross stitch piece. And actually my son was really into diamond dots, doing diamond dots. So you could actually put this front, you could actually stitch your diamond dot um, piece. I've got a, um, onto, onto it and stitch it around and have something for your diamond dots, which is good because I've actually got some of finished um, diamond dot works I didn't know what to do with. And I've got a cross stitch that I didn't know what to do with. I might make books. That's how pretty easy it is. Now, I've already trimmed my corners, but you would just go along and trim the edges so you didn't have much point um, in the stuffed in the corner there. And then this is what it looks like. You got like a sleeve, anything. How is this finished? Well, we finished the majority of sewing. We've only got a little bit more sewing to do to finish it. So what you do is you turn this around and then this is the bit that your book sits on. Okay. And then we turn these right into the corner and turn grab your scissors and do a little pokey poke pokey poke being a technical word there pokey poke oh that one's fine I've got three threads okay so this is what it looks like on the front there we go, and then, then this would go around. So now we've just got to top stitch it. So you could iron it if you wanted to iron. I'm just going to sew. So I'm going to start on the bottom, on the bottom, on the back. Oh, look at all these threads. I'll have to de thread it later. So just I'm just going to roll the hem. And stitch needle down and there's another thread so you remember to pull your elastic out of the way Maybe. 
The elastic's only annoying at the back piece. And then it won't be annoying in a secchi. Elastic's gone. We don't have to worry about the elastic anymore. This is our top edge now. The threads. Oh, the threads. Done. I realised I didn't change my thread. Anyway, not that it matters. <laughs> I've got the green thread on the top instead of on the bottom. Anyway, that don't matter. I don't mind. I have to go around and de-thread it, but I'll do that in a second. But there we go, it's finished. You fold it around and flip it over and you're finished. So if I find a book, I know I've got a book around here somewhere. Okay, here's a book. So remember, I've just used a cheap book that you can get at the local department store so the kids can always go back and they can buy them if they want to, um, if they fill up their book. If I was giving this a gift to um, an adult, um, I'd put a name tag in somewhere, um, my own tag. Um, a little wooden tag here would be nice. But I think I'll probably just pop one like on the interior. Um, that would have got, if you have wooden tags, but this is for kids and they're not gonna care. So I'm gonna save my tags. I was selling out have a tag but I'm not selling these and you just pop it in and just give it a bit of a jiggle and then bada bing bada boom once you've you threaded it all you're done how cool is that so this is what we're giving with gifts for birthdays this year um I've already given out a few um and the kids have loved them so the kids already had um three parties this year and it's only what um so at the end of end of March start of April Nine of March, isn't it? Um, so the kids' feedback is that the kids love it. Feedback is that the parents really love it. Like, oh my God, did you make that? And um, we actually wrapped them um, in a bandana uh, as part of the gift, so they don't have um, wrapping paper to throw away, and then they have a bandana as part of a gift. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish all these ones and my pile over here. And um, I'll show you what they all look like when I've done them all. But I think that looks really, really snazzy. One of these ones that I don't want to part with, I want to keep. <laughs> okay, I've finished them all and I've made so many I actually ran out of books. So I'll show you the ones that haven't got the books in them to start with. So this is a cute one with um, silver glitter. And it's like, so this was scraps from a hat that I made a few years ago. And it's a, I have completely run out of this till fabric, so I just put that one on the inside and you won't see that at all. And I think that one's a cute one. Good unisex one. This one I love. I love the texture of this one. This was the actual first piece I tried at um, Free Motion Quilting. <laughs> but you know what? I just love the texture. I think it looks really cool. 
and then just a teal inside and it's got a nice um, zebraish um, zebraish is that a word band I think this is one gonna be unisex one as well this one I've made for the boys but it'd probably go to the girls now and that this one's got the slight texture because I've just done the um, the black background I think this is actually really cool just a teal inside and like that and if you want to see what that looks like with a book in it this is the one with the book in it so you can see and I've got a different one on here so you can see them side by side and then you can't see oops you got all the book in here and um and then so this is what it looked like on the inside here so you can see all right so that's what's that's three this is four this is another one this is a piece of scrap i had i tried to do a bit of i don't know like tree texture bark texture but i don't know if that worked but i think it looks pretty cool it's got a nice texture to it um this is leftovers from something else because once again i ran out of fabric and they don't see that and then a nice red sparkly piece of fold over elastic and i need to trim those ends on i'll put that to the side to remember this is the prettiest one i think <laughs> so this is the uh, kitty cat one looks really cool i'm happy to i'll be happy to get any of these what do you reckon would you be happy to get one of these as a gift whether you're an adult or a child this is my last piece of the moth fabric i don't know what fabric it is so if you actually know what kind of fabric this is leave a comment in the um below because i'd love to get more but i don't i, don't, I mean i've had this for a few years and i've not wanted to use it but in the end like what's the point of having a pretty piece of fabric in the cupboard um so i decided to use the last up but i'd love to get more so if you know what this one is please please tell me and I'm going to buy myself some more if I can find it. But I just love the grey background on them. I think that was really, really cool. So that's just a simple grid. And this one, um, I just did the, the circles. Now this one's a bit of a boo-boo because I, I cut it. If you can see, I accidentally it must have cut it wrong or stitched it wrong. And you can just see these end pieces coming out. But it doesn't really matter because the first end piece colour is happens to be the same color as the lining which it doesn't matter when I mean, you've got it open it doesn't matter so it's even though it's not a hundred percent it's still a hundred percent because it still works and it still looks cute so, so that's one two three four five six seven eight for eight birthdays so i need to buy some more but um like i said this is an awesome i'm glad i tried the pattern I'll put a comment in the, um, the um, description below of where to get the patterns. You can make it too. And like, honestly, these do not take long at all. They don't take much fabric. You can even make them out of scrap pieces, join them together and um, cut them out from there. It would look really nice with selvages as well. Um, but yeah, awesome. I'm happy I did it. Let me know below, you know, do you like them? I'd love to know. All right. Thank you. Bye.